you're looking at the type of feather. Remember, each bird has four different types of feathers. Oh. Is that a tail feather, a flight feather, a body feather, or down feather? Go ahead, Daddy. It's not going to be a down feather. That's right. You're right. Um, it's not a tail feather. Might be right. Look at the pictures in the book, and it Look tells you which ones are flight feathers and which ones are body feathers. Look at the quill. The quill is the white part, and that's the part that we're going to use to write with. What well, one does it match? See, a long time ago, people didn't have pens and pencils. They used those feathers and bottles of ink to write letters. And then later, they got those kinds of pens that you see there with the metal tips. They're not like a regular ballpoint pen. See little tips? These are called calligraphy pens. See, look. Here's little points. See that? See? Little point. There's a wide one to make fat letters, and here's one that makes thin little letters. And they go inside of these. You have to put your pens together. You slide this inside of here. Daddy's going to have to help me here because I can't do stuff one-handed very well. Like that, see? So we're going to try writing with all of them. I'm going to write with this first. I'm going to take the library book out of the way, and we're going to try to write on the special watercolor paper and see. Now, people a long time ago used to write in cursive, and that is cursive. They still do this. Yes, they do. You're right. They just don't really teach it in school much anymore, I don't think. Did they teach you that in school? Well, my teacher writes like that, mm -hmm. that... All that fancy stuff. She does do that fancy stuff? But not the beads. No. That, that, these beads. This ink will stay in your clothes and your hands and everything it gets on, so we have to be very careful with it. That's right. Now, give you a piece of paper and a piece of paper for Daddy. This is heavy watercolor paper. What ink would you like to use? Green, blue, or black? I had a feeling. Now, let Daddy show you show you before you start. Let Daddy do it first, and then you're going to copy Daddy, okay? Watch carefully. You probably should start with a straight line. Daddy's used the pens before, so he's good at it. What are you drawing? You go ahead and dip your pen in there the way that Daddy did. And then try drawing a straight line. A little one. Just to practice. I did it! Yay! Now you can use this one. I can use the fat one. <laughs> See how I dipped it? Oh, wow. You try writing your name with a special pen. Really old documents are written that way. Or were written that way, like the Declaration of Independence. All that good stuff.
my name? Try writing your name. See if it's easy or hard to write with those pens. I think it's easy. You think so? Yeah. And then in a minute we're going to try to do it with the bird's feather. Like the really olden days. Daddy? He uses a lot of ink. He uses a lot of ink. Hmm. I see that. Now it's Trinity's turn to try. Now you can go back to school on Monday and tell everybody you wrote with a bird feather. Don't press down, just use some of the ink for the tea. Nice job, Daddy. 